don't think we did. You know, we got a we got a good solid hit out um, against a quality team, and um, yeah, I, it was it was it was good for us going into the competition. I, I was quite pleased with some areas of our game, and you know, other games, other parts of the our game, we know we've got to work on over the next two weeks. But you know, they're all fixable. Oh, yeah, he was uh, he. He did some good things, and you know there was a couple of um, you know scratchy things, but you know that's his first hit out, and so you'd expect he, he's going to improve. Glad he had that run, mate. Obviously, uh, you know Darren probably doesn't make that many mistakes in half a season. Or season. Yeah, no, it was no. I'm really happy that he did play. Um, you know, uh, one just to just to get a little bit more confidence. With the with the knee and, and just uh, get some, try and get some timing in defence and work work with the fellas that he's going to be defending with there. So that, you know that we needed he needed that and uh, you know just for the other players to have him around as well. Um, you know I, I think he always gives them a lot of confidence just being out there. So um, no, I was very pleased that he, that he made the decision to play. How did he pull up? As he... Yeah, no, he's fine. Yeah, he's okay. He'll be. Uh, he's got two weeks to get ready for the first game now. I'm sure he'll be right. I thought that was one of the positives from our point of view was uh, Joel Pith and Nick Kenny were very good. Uh, I was really pleased with them and uh, um, you know, they both put on a lot of weight in the pre-season and um, it showed out there tonight. Yeah, yeah it was. I was I was quite happy with, with Ben. Um, he um, probably struggled to get the ball a little bit in the second half but you know we didn't have Lockie Orwell there in the second half and uh, you know, no Kay there either and, and sometimes uh, with younger players there, you know, they just struggle getting to our structures and, and with their communication and getting the ball and that, so... Um, but, yeah, I was quite pleased, you know, with his, with his uh, contribution in the first half. Uh, Mick, uh, Mick didn't let anyone down, he, and he competed really hard all game, and he was... Uh, we were really pleased with his effort, and, uh, you know, he's going to play... The, you know, as long as he stays fit, he'll play a role for us there. The whole game, or...? Yeah. Do you think the first half? Oh, yeah, I thought it was the first half. <laughs> 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 <So> <laughs> there, but there, there was a lot of stoppages. I mean, what do you make of that? And I mean, is it something that you need to address? You don't want to give away that many coming out Yeah, look, I, you know, um, the, the referees are, it's obviously all new to them too, um, as well as it, it is to us, and uh, we've got to get used to what, what they expect. Um, you know, the same happened last year, I think the first. You know, four rounds of the competition, there was a lot of penalties blown and things settled down after that, so I'm hoping that's going to be the case. I'm hoping that, you know, that, um, you know, the, the players also get used to what the referees want pretty quickly. But look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to whinge about the referees. You know, they're, they're doing their best out there and they're, they're refereeing under a new system as well and we've all got to get used to it, so, you know, no complaints from me. Oh look, I, I think it was from both sides, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I don't think it was anything that um, that we were. Uh, that it was just us that were doing things wrong. I, I think it was from both teams, and once again, I think it's just something that the players have got to get used to what the referees are expecting from us. It was probably the quickest holding down penalty in the history of rugby league. Yeah, yeah. Two well, seconds. there was there was a few few ones that you know you might uh, have question marks over, but once again, once again, it's all new to everyone, so. You got to be a little bit tolerant of those things. What about your kicking game, Ivan? Mean, you must be pretty happy with that early in the year. I mean, Goral's long kicking game will spot on again tonight. Yeah. Once again, once again, we've got a lot of options there, and um, so I was quite. That, you know, that was another part of our game that was positive tonight. Um, um, you know, there's there's a lot to work with there. I, I thought their effort was really good. Uh, I couldn't fault them in that that area. They had a hell of a lot of defence and they were under pressure there a lot. And uh, so um, I, I was quite pleased with that aspect and, and their kicking game and their chasing game and their, their enthusiasm to get off the line. You know, there, was, there was a lot of positives there, a lot of young kids playing out there as well. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll soldier on the next two weeks, try and fix up the things that, that were a little bit ordinary tonight and get ready for the Cowboys. Uh, me personally? Yeah, I yeah I, look, I'm, I'm quite relaxed where we are. You know, um, the, the error rate, wasn't where where it should have been this week, but I know I know we've got that in us. I, you know I know the, the second half of that game last week against Canberra we went seven out of seven, and you know I think we we're at about eighty percent for that second half, which is where we need to be. So I, I know we can do it. We've you know we've only done it in one half out of, out of the four that we've played, and that's something that we'll address over the next two weeks, and hopefully it'll be right for the Cowboys. But if we don't get it right, well we're going to struggle.